What's up, Wayne Brown here with DarkEffects.net, and today we're inside of Adobe Edge Animate. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you just some basics about how to use the timeline and how to use this little guy right here. So uh, the toggle pin, <coughs> and yes, I did forget the name of it. The toggle pin, whenever you double click on your timeline indicator, and if you move just your little uh, pin over to your right and you leave your indicator alone, then whenever you move <coughs> or change your object within your um, composition, then it's going to start from where you have it at now and it's gonna end up to what it was before. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing your animation. And so wherever you move your pin to, that will be the end of your animation, which will be what you started out with. Okay, so if you start out, bring that back. If you move your timeline indicator and you leave your pin and you move your pin, I mean you leave your pin here and you move your timeline indicator to your right, then whenever you change, let's go over here and really do some changing here. You change this, move this over to here, change that to there, and then move that to here. then whenever you run your animation, it's gonna start from where you started at since you left your pin at the beginning and you moved your indicator, your timeline indicator to your right, that is where your animation is gonna go. So in more times than one or none or have you use that saying, you're gonna use it this way. You're gonna leave your pin in your starting position and then you're going to move your timeline indicator where you want it at so let's say that you want to back it back up so you would go right here and then you would run your indicator to there and then you would start playing around with it oops get it right there and bring it up so as you can see, it starts off right here, and then it drops down to there, and then we bring it back up to here again. So just keep that in mind that whenever you move the pen tool to your right, that is your starting point. This is your starting point here. So. whenever you run it, it's gonna go back to the starting point. Okay, so if you, leave your pin there and move it to the right, then that is where it's gonna go. Your starting point is gonna be where the pin's at and your end is gonna be where your timeline indicator is at. So anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed this quick tip. It comes in awfully handy, especially if you got a big project and all of a sudden you're like, hold it, what did I just do? Chances are you swapped it around by doing something like this right here instead of this. So anyway, each one of them gives a different result. All right, y'all have a good one. Take care. Enjoy the day. Bye-bye.